Vending UK is a common sense system for vending machine management. In this presentation, we're going to look at operator and machine management, stock and cash monitoring, integrity checking, stock and sales reporting, the Sage accounts interface, and how it's set up for all various machine types. Vending UK is a flexible, low-cost, intuitive and very easy to use system. Let's first look at the operator's handheld device. The operator's handheld device is an Android mobile phone. The phone will show a list of vending machines needing a visit for each day. Normally the schedule is set up on the main system, but a visit can be triggered by the system when it knows the stock in the machine is running low. The operator's handheld device knows what visits it's going to make for that day and also is able to calculate how much it expects to put into each machine. A list of all the products needed to be loaded onto the van for the day's calls can be shown on screen. In the same way, when the operator arrives at site, he can then get a list of all the expected products for that particular machine. This helps the operator carry the right amount of stock from the van to the machine. At the machine, the operator records the amount of stock on arrival for each product, any quantities that are returned, such as out-of-date products, and the quantity he places. The price is also checked so that the amount sold can tie in exactly with the amount collected in the cash box. The Android screen also shows the uh, needs on exit figure. What that is, is the amount of stock that will be needed in the machine to last until his next visit. Uh, the system knows when he will visit again and knows how much stock is sold on a um, daily basis. The um, Vending UK will cater for all kinds of vending machine. This is set up for a meter only reading from an ingredients um, drink machine. And meter readings can be taken with machines that also need stock as well. As part of the operator's task, he will collect uh, money from the machine. He'll collect the uh, cash bag. And if the cash bag is numbered, then the number of the cash bag can be entered against this visit so that the amount collected will be tied to the, the visit. This is used in uh, the integrity check, which we come to later on. As part of his visit, he would also check the amount of money in the coin mechanism, and he can um, record the amount of uh, money there, and also record any that he may add, so he records on arrival and on exit. Um, any refunds given is recorded, and also any total bends and total value uh, meter readings. Once he's made the visit, the information collected is sent immediately uh, via his uh, phone to the Vending UK server. Um, the information is available at the office in real time. The handheld device is an Android mobile phone. The application is easily downloaded using the on-built function in the Android phone uh, called Play Store. Play Store has the facility where it will also update the uh, software on the phone if there are any software upgrades and this happens totally automatically. Okay, let's look at the uh, server side, the internet screens that you see back at the office. And let's go skip forward to the reports. Reports are shown on the right hand side and you can access these by clicking the buttons on the right hand side of the screen. 
A very powerful report is the integrity check. Integrity check. This will look at each visit and calculate the amount of money that was sold, that is the amount that was in the machine on the previous visit to the amount that's on arrival at the new visit, and calculate it by the, uh, the price against that product for each item in the machine, and check this against the amount that's collected in the cash box. These figures should more or less tally. There may be some discrepancy because there may be money in the coin mechanism that hasn't been accounted for, but the integrity check gives you a trend to show if there is a, a discrepancy that is continuing. Now, if there is a discrepancy, the numbers on the uh, bottom row will show in red, um, and if this is increasing, then you would suspect that there is a problem with the machine, either theft from the machine or um, some difficulties with the operator. Another report is the um, visit report, and this gives you a day-by-day uh, -day visit. Uh, you can select a range of dates, and um, the records held on the system go back 18 months so you can look uh, at previous visits and uh, see the amounts collected. The visit report also includes a very powerful feature where you can export data from the visits selected. You can look in more detail at each visit and see exactly what products were sold how much on arrival, how much placed, the price, and so on. And uh, included in this is the, the, the VAT calculation that shows you the amount of VAT on each visit. The detailed visit report also shows you the amount in uh, the um, cash box. And that's shown on the bottom line of the report. Information can be exported to Sage Counts. Um, the stock transactions and the audit trail are exported as files which are compatible with Sage and can be imported into Sage Accounts by using the uh, inbuilt menu functions within Sage. So this cuts out any manual keying or entering of information and um, automates the accounting side of your business. Custom reports can be made. As I said earlier, the data from the visits can be exported into an Excel spreadsheet. And um, all the information from the visits, including the, uh, the, vis the uh, prices and numbers of products sold, are available for your own custom reports. Venny UK also includes an invoicing function. Invoices can be generated for products that have been sold uh, in a monthly period, and this can also include the rental of machine. So based on products sold during a month and the uh, rental machine, if appropriate, um, will generate an invoice to send to that customer. The New UK has a built-in help facility on each screen. By clicking the loudspeaker icon in the top right corner, you will have a audible uh, commentary of what is on the screen that you're currently looking at. Um, to users, you would need to have your sound enabled on your PC. Supervisor functions are um, shown in the center of the screen. These are for setting up your account, uh, products and machines, and for entering the uh, cash box values. Entering an account is straightforward. The uh, each um, operator would be set with a login name and password 
and these login names and passwords are entered into the uh, Android phone um, so that the system sends the information into the central system. Products are entered and maintained on the internet screens. There are 10 lists of products and each list can cont contain up to 800 items. The list contains the uh, product name and the SAGE code, the accounting code that is sent to SAGE. Um, the case name, case crate, uh, size and weight of the case the weight is used in calculating the loading in a van, um, the VAT rate if appropriate and the cost of a uh, case that is used for calculating your profits uh, for particular uh, products or machines. When setting up a uh, new machine you enter the uh, site details and you also enter the Call schedule. The van numbers are uh, number are just numbers shown on here. Van number one is it's a one, and in this case we have van one visiting on Monday in week one, and van two scheduled to visit in week two on Wednesday. Special comments can be entered, and these are shown on the operator's handheld screen. And uh, if the site is closed for holidays, this will used when calculating the, um, the usage of products for a machine. When setting up a machine you select what type of products are in that machine and then using the drop-down lists select each column in turn. The columns also include uh, tick boxes to say whether there's a meter reading on that or whether it's purely by entering the number of products, counting the products in there. And you also have the facility to enter invoice facilities as we've seen. The cash boxes are sent to the office for counting. The um, cash box number is shown on the left hand side and also the site name and, and visit date. This will tie the cash to the visit. Cash values are entered in the uh, column as we see there. You can search for a machine and update the details by clicking on the button there. And similarly you can find a, uh, a visit and you can change the details within that. Authorised personnel can update or change the visit details if the operator made a mistake in entering the uh, arrival placed and returns and price figures can be edited on this screen by authorised personnel. Another feature that Vending UK has is to make worksheets. Worksheets are printed forms that can be filled in by and handed back to the office and office staff would then key these values in to the, to the system. This is uh, something that is totally free of charge but it does have the overhead of having someone have to key this information in. In the UK has a demo button. You can go to this and go to each screen and uh, try entering values and this will not change any of your details on your system and you can set up an account free of charge by clicking the new account button setting up your account on screen that concludes the presentation for vending.uk.net and we can be emailed at support at vending.uk.net